Welcome to the Vitamins and Nutrients YouTube channel. Today we are discussing potassium. Potassium is a chemical element with the symbol K, from the Latin word, calium, an atomic number 19. It is a silvery white metal that is soft and highly reactive, and is one of the seven elements that make up the alkali metal group. Potassium is an essential element for life and is used in a variety of applications, including as a nutrient in fertilizer, as a component in many foods, and as an electrolyte in the human body. In the body, potassium helps regulate fluid balance, support proper muscle and nerve function, and maintain a healthy heartbeat. It is also involved in many metabolic processes, such as the synthesis of proteins and the breakdown of carbohydrates. A diet that is rich in potassium-containing foods, such as bananas, oranges, potatoes, and spinach, can help maintain adequate levels of potassium in the body. It is important to consult with a doctor to determine the appropriate intake of potassium for individual needs. Based on the information in the Dietary Reference Intakes DRIs, developed by the National Academies of Sciences, Engineering, and Medicine, the adequate intake AI, of potassium varies by age and sex. The AIs are as follows. 1. Birth to 6 months, 400 mg. 2. 7 to 12 months, 860 mg. 3. 1 to 3 years, 2000 mg. 4. 4 to 8 years, 2300 mg. 5. 9 to 13 years, 2500 mg for males and 2300 mg for females. 6. 14 to 18 years, 3000 mg for males and 2300 mg for females. 7. 19 to 50 years, 3,400 mg for males and 2,600 mg for females. 8. 51 plus years, 3,400 mg for males and 2,600 mg for females. It is important to note that these AIs do not apply to individuals with impaired potassium excretion due to medical conditions or the use of medications that impair potassium excretion. To determine the appropriate amount of potassium for individual needs, it is best to consult with a doctor or a registered dietitian. Good sources of potassium include 1. Fruits, bananas, oranges, cantaloupe, honeydew melon, apricots, grapefruit. 2. Vegetables, spinach, sweet potatoes, white potatoes, winter squash, tomato products, such as juice and sauce. 3. Dairy products, milk, yogurt, cheese. 4. Meat and poultry, beef, chicken, turkey. 5. Seafood, salmon, cod, flounder. 6. Nuts and seeds, almonds, sunflower seeds, pumpkin seeds. 7. Legumes, lentils, kidney beans, black beans, chickpeas. 8. Whole grains, quinoa, brown rice, whole wheat bread. It is important to note that the potassium content of food can vary depending on factors such as preparation methods and portion sizes, and that it is always best to consult with a doctor or a registered dietitian to determine the appropriate amount of potassium for individual needs. Potassium supplements are available in several forms, including Potassium chloride, this is the most common form of potassium supplement and is used to treat low potassium levels, hyperkalemia. It is available in tablet or capsule form and can be taken orally. Potassium gluconate. This form of potassium supplement is also available in tablet or capsule form and is used to treat low potassium levels. Potassium citrate. This form of potassium supplement is used to treat kidney stones and is available in tablet or capsule form. Potassium bicarbonate. This form of potassium supplement is used to treat acidosis, an excess of acid in the body, and is available in tablet or capsule form. Potassium chloride extended release tablets. This form of potassium supplement is used to treat low potassium levels and is available in extended release tablet form. It is important to note that potassium supplements can interact with certain medications and medical conditions, and that it is always best to consult with a doctor before starting a potassium supplement. Additionally, it is important to not exceed the recommended daily intake of potassium, as excessive potassium intake can lead to harmful health effects. 
Potassium deficiency, also known as hyperkalemia, can cause a range of symptoms, including 1. Muscle weakness or cramps. 2. Fatigue. 3. Heart palpitations or irregular heartbeat. 4. Digestive problems, such as constipation. 5. Respiratory difficulties, such as shortness of breath. 6. Numbness or tingling sensations. 7. Confusion or changes in mood. 8. Poor reflexes. 9. Muscle paralysis. It is important to note that these symptoms can also be caused by other factors and that a definitive diagnosis of potassium deficiency can only be made through a blood test. If you are experiencing symptoms that you think may be related to potassium deficiency, it is best to consult with a doctor for proper evaluation and treatment. Potassium toxicity, also known as hyperkalemia, occurs when there is an elevated level of potassium in the blood. Symptoms of hyperkalemia can include 1. Nausea and vomiting 2. Muscle weakness 3. Fatigue 4. Heart palpitations or irregular heartbeat 5. Chest pain 6. Breathing difficulties 7. Paresthesia, a tingling or prickling sensation in the skin. In severe cases, hyperkalemia can lead to cardiac arrest and death. It is important to note that hyperkalemia can also be caused by other factors and that a definitive diagnosis can only be made through a blood test. If you are experiencing symptoms that you think may be related to hyperkalemia, it is best to consult with a doctor for proper evaluation and treatment. Additionally, it is important not to exceed the recommended daily intake of potassium and to consult with a doctor before starting a potassium supplement. The length of time it takes to correct a potassium deficiency or toxicity will depend on several factors, including the severity of the deficiency or toxicity, the underlying cause, and the individual's overall health. In mild cases of potassium deficiency, Dietary changes to increase potassium intake and adequate hydration can help correct the deficiency within a few days to a week. In more severe cases, or if there is an underlying medical condition causing the deficiency, potassium supplements may be prescribed and it may take longer to correct the deficiency, often several weeks to a few months. In cases of hyperkalemia, the length of time it takes to correct the toxicity will depend on the underlying cause and the severity of the toxicity. If the hyperkalemia is caused by medications, adjusting the medication regimen or switching to a different medication can help correct the toxicity. In other cases, changes to diet and fluid intake, along with medications to remove excess potassium from the body, may be necessary to correct the toxicity. It may take several days to a few weeks to several months to correct the toxicity, depending on the severity and underlying cause. It is important to consult with a doctor for proper evaluation and treatment of a potassium deficiency or toxicity, as the length of time it takes to correct the deficiency or toxicity will vary depending on individual needs and circumstances. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe for more informative videos like this one.